I, I think actually uh, Kari uh, Fukunaga is very adept at sort of adjusting and rethinking and accommodating and questioning actually on the go, questioning what which I think is good, questioning the script, should this be better, should that line change, so there's a there's a fluidity in the process on this film. I think for my money the film is, is a farewell to Daniel's bond and the relationships Daniel's bond has had with others. Um, I think that the plot is strong, but I think it's more psychological, possibly. I mean, Madeline's backstory is sort of childhood trauma. So that this, this, the spectre of it all and the chemical weapons of it all, and the, there, that's the functioning engine, but I think that the, the real richness is in the relationships. Ashana's really strong. Lovely quality, lovely energy, uh, and um, from the moments I shared with her, I think she would be exciting. Well, Daniel brings an incredible intelligence to the part. He's very, very, he's highly aware of the the script uh, evolvement, the story he's part of. He doesn't just turn up and play the part but she does very well he's very engaged with what the what the thing is what the film is as a as, as a as a creation um, and I think I, I get the sense that whatever his input is it's pretty smart look I've said it all before it's been said many times you know Daniel's very convincing as a real as a real um, he has a physical toughness a persu he's persuasive in the physicality of the part um, he's a man you believe has been in the front line of all kinds of tough physical circumstances. That's always been the case. But he brings, um, he has a lovely humour, gentle humour, wit. I mean, he's got a great spectrum of nuances as Bond. But uh, I know I've said all this. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of Daniel's Bond. The franchise has built up and got, I think, and, and, and evolved a, a brilliant uh, balance between action, uh, a, a hero. Be it's bedded into a sort of reality from which it departs with fantastical villains and bizarre, brilliant locations. And I think audiences who like the Bond go for that kick, go for that high. They go for a really persuasive, um, charismatic um, male figure that women like, men like, and that was where there's a humour, there's complication, there's physical prowess, there's charm, there's a sort of a mix, a package that, that we know works, and that comes with, and there's a sort of shape which I think fans want. want. They want the they like the pre-credit sequence, uh, they like the bit of serious plot stuff, they like the other characters, they love Q, they love Money Penny, hopefully they like M. <laughs> um, but they, then they like the juiciness of a villain. And um, so there's a set of boxes that are ticked, which the fan base expects and wants. But I think what they like to see is those boxes challenged and are evolving. 